welcome to the May 2021 energy reading, update, transmission, and guidance for this time. I am so excited to bring you some of the messages that were coming up and even just like the visuals and just things that I've seen as I've been tapping into this energy. It's really exciting and there's a lot of important things to go over, but it's really going to be very much a reminder for you and a moment for you to reflect and begin starting to like set things down and be like, okay, let's take stock. Let's start like <laughs> putting things together. How can I make this a more balanced life for me moving forward? towards my visions and my goals and my dreams, right? So that's really what we're going to be talking about today. If you are new, please do consider subscribing. Also like the video and happy birthday to everyone who has a birthday in May. My dad's birthday is actually in May, so it is a beautiful month. Type in the comments down below if you have a birthday and let us just send you all the hearts and the likes and all of the fun stuff right there in the comments down below. I'd love to celebrate you. It's so, so important to celebrate yourself during this time, your birth, how long you've been here as this human soul here on this earth. So yeah, it's important and I'm going to continue to do this. Okay, so the first thing that came to mind tapping into May was this shift. And the only reason that word really came up is because I was sitting outside and tapping in, listening to some music, which I will share with you guys because this music like depicts <laughs> this month so, so well. And yeah, I'll just have it in the description box below and just listen to it after this or when you do the journal prompts or even just go over the affirmations in the description box below, you can listen to this and you'll just feel and tap into the energy for yourself and it's going to be a lot more of a personal experience. It's so exciting but the name of the song is called Bloom. It's on YouTube and it's one of those like healing frequencies type music and this one was like whoa it was so it was such a cool experience just listening to it so I highly suggest listening to it. But anyway I was listening to that, chose that um, to listen to as I was tapping into this energy and there was this shift in nature. It was like okay Okay, you know, the leaves were falling, the dead petals of the flowers were falling, and the wind just suddenly kind of shifted in a way, like it started moving in one direction and it stopped. And it, I mean, it hasn't been really windy, <laughs> except just every now and then, but it would just got like really windy, things were falling and then everything was kind of still. And after that point, I was seeing a lot of butterflies and there was this one butterfly that was yellow and it completely blended in with the tree. And this instantly reminded me of how powerful we are as human beings, as multidimensional souls within this human form, right? It's really just showing us that we are truly connected to the natural world. We are truly connected to everything and everyone in this universe, right? It's this all my relations type mentality where yes, we are all related in a sense. We are all connected in a sense. We are all streams of the same source consciousness. We are all birthed into this natural world. So it's get, coming back to that connection, but even just after the butterfly was there completely camouflage and just one with the tree that it was on in the petals on the tree it flew away and that was just showing how we truly are the alchemist in this world right we have the tools to work with elements in a way that the natural world would not be able to like we are that link here so we truly do have the power to create our reality to choose what it is that we would like to experience in this life this just shows us our power but also our natural connection to the world and the universe and moving back into this shift because i got distracted <laughs> and started talking about the butterfly that i was seeing but the shift is really just the shift in energy you know how i was talking about april really being an in-between type month we were going through a lot of um different things within our personal experiences and lives and not a lot of people 
people have been sharing that and it's totally cool because it is a very personal thing. I personally have been going through a lot of personal shifts, but also realizing a lot and being able to integrate and see, okay, how can I move forward with this new awareness that I have? How can I begin implementing it instead of allowing myself to go back to older patterns or to completely ignore that which has arised <laughs> within the past few months of this year so far. So with May coming in, we're kind of moving out of that in-between phase into this place where it's like, okay, now how can we begin integrating and embodying this even more? And the right word I want to say is embody it. How can you begin to embody what you have learned so far? <laughs> so really moving into this place where, okay, yeah, parts of ourselves or parts of our lives are going to be falling away. You know, if, if someone you loved passed away, we're seeing that like falling away. We're going through the grieving process. And this could be in any sense, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is just everything that kind of came through and obviously this is a general reading so it's for a lot of people <laughs> so really just you know form this into what makes sense for you and your life right now but you know don't take anything too literally source doesn't always speak so literally you know it's simple but oftentimes it's it's important for us to be able to resonate with our own heart and soul as to what I am saying or anyone that's like channeling through an update or an energy reading is saying okay so we kind of give it meaning in a sense but anyway <laughs> everything's like certain things are falling away and it's time for us to really begin stepping into this shift in energy and this is allowing us to make room for what is new make room for what is really meant to be in our lives the things that we truly deserve and are worthy of the things that we've been asking for for so long and this does require us to have a little bit of patience okay not expecting things to come and happen or expecting ourselves to be somewhere that we're not definitely in april especially with the earth signs here we've been feeling as we're like coming into the earth signs we've been really just feeling that want for stability and security right and it's hard to grasp onto that when we have a lot of emotions and shifts within our lives and desires and it's like when's the right time like when is it gonna be enough almost so really just allowing ourselves from this point on to be patient with this co-creation that we have with the universe and with source with spirit god right it's really allowing ourselves to surrender and say that like yes i'm worth the time that this is going to take and this is not saying that may is going to be another in between month no may is going to be a month for us to really set foundation it's going to be a month for us to set foundation for ourselves right for our energy and our reality and our mind Minds to actually begin if you haven't already doing the work that you need to to get where you want to go especially with all of these moving energies that we've been feeling just integrating and not you know being super active and you could have been the complete opposite in April depending on who you are and what you're going through but this is just like uh, definitely like the majority there's been some personal hurdles that we've been going over and realizing that we can't really go over them or under them we have to simply go through them so <laughs> if you've been one of those people I love you and I'm right there with you but overall really letting ourselves take on truth within May, allowing ourselves to tap into our own sacred rituals, finding the balance between routine and ritual. Ritual was really coming up and so is magic. Like when you listen to the music, it's so magical. And even like the affirmations and the journal prompts, like they're gonna ask us to just be like, okay, how can we anchor in this magic within our lives? How can we begin experiencing it, seeing it? It, it really just requires us to shift our perspective to shift our inner dialogue so this is a very good time for us to open up and actually take stock of what's going on in our head like have we come back to some more negative thought patterns notice when that comes up that does not mean that you've backtracked or fell off the wagon or something no that you're that means you're exactly where you're meant to be and this is an opportunity for you to shift back because you know how to do it okay you know how to do it so instead of worrying intellectually or logically 
on how am I going to do this? Like, no, just saying, I am worth it and I know how to do this. And if you are devoted and if you are truly important to yourself, like I say, you take the time that you need every single day, you know, devoting yourself to shifting a pattern, to shifting a belief right to actually taking care of your body if you feel like you're someone that needs to you know get moving again <laughs> let yourself take may to really set that foundation for your own rituals your own personal ceremonies your own self-care you know your own routine creating a schedule some structure so that you can allow the magic to do its work because if we're you know being inconsistent or we have these beliefs that we can't finish things or that you know we're very you know more scatterbrained or whatever like no everyone has this ability to be able to shift their reality and we all have our own beautiful way of doing that we all have our own beautiful rituals that we do so if you don't already have a morning or night ritual or anything that you do during the day for yourself and for you to connect with spirit with source with god right i highly suggest getting into that because spirit is definitely asking us to begin setting those foundations for our rituals and that could just really mean you meditating once a day or twice a day it could be you doing yoga and meditation it could be breath work it could be working out so and we want to really make sure when we're doing these rituals or these routines that we're taking care of the entire energy body and when i say the entire energy body that really means not just like you know our energy <laughs> <laughs> but also our mental body and our emotional body and our physical body so we're aiding all of them together and allowing them to come together instead of separating them you know yes you can have four different practices that kind of target each of them if you want to do it that way but really just intuitively figure out what it is that you need to be doing for me personally I am devoting myself to consistently exercising because that's something where especially in April I like wanted to be there I'm like I want to exercise so much more and work out and get back on onto that train right but I felt myself falling off because of all of the emotions that were coming up and the things that were falling away in April and I just didn't have the energy a lot of us have just not had the energy <laughs> so May is going to give us a little bit more of that energy to be able to do these things and it's your choice what you will be devoting yourself to and how you will actually lay your ritual and routine so it's really just about making an effort to take care of all aspects of yourself making that effort instead of just talking about or just you know you do one ceremony one day and it's like this beautiful inner child <laughs> work right and you do some journaling and you're like oh yeah this would be good like I want to check in with my inner child more often and speak to you know speak to them and see what's going on and be able to parent myself in that way but then you kind of let yourself fall off and you never come back to it until you know something happens and you realize that it's connected to your inner child like what may is asking us to do what spirit's asking us to do not may but you know <laughs> the energies of may is showing that this is a beautiful wonderful time for us to stop doing that <laughs> first of all and begin to take it more seriously like make it fun as well adding that magic back into your rituals and what you do if you're like my example for the inner child if this is something that's important to you write it down somewhere to remind you to check in with your inner child especially especially if you're having a lot of those older false beliefs or just you know your inner child wants certain things and doesn't really make sense to your life right now then that's where you can start nurturing that inner child on a daily basis so being able to take your time each day if you can just a little bit of time we have an abundance of time to yourself to actually do the work that you need to do is going to really skyrocket you and allow you to flow through the rest of this year a lot more easily is what i'm hearing <laughs> so 
beginning this in May, all right? The energy is there and you are fully supported in that if you feel that it re resonates with you during this time. So a couple other things that came up was I actually pulled the Lakshmi card, which is <laughs> quite divine since we just had our abundance activated a uh, little three-day journey and if you haven't done that already you can definitely go and do that but now is a wonderful time to see that Lakshmi is showing us that they can, as we continue to give and love fully we're truly going to receive that and that's you know that's just how energy works <laughs> so the more that we allow ourselves to be grateful and to tap into that abundant nature that we are the more wishes are going to be granted it's just going to be so natural for us to receive in that way and we will begin tapping into that in may and it's just really coming back to that sharing that we need that balance in order to really create that momentum and those ripples so that it becomes second nature for us to think more positively, you know, to get up in the morning and do your ritual or whatever you do, right? We want to allow it to become so much more of, a, you know, a good habit for us instead of something that we have to try and do or something that we are more inconsistent with, you know, creating that structure so that we can also be fluid within that structure and not saying, I have to do this one thing, but allowing ourselves to be more fluid and experience like okay what is it that <laughs> needs my attention today and then obviously having a few things that are you know more associated with the conscious or the subconscious mind that you need more repetition with everything that's coming your way is well deserved and you are fully worthy of receiving so allow yourself to really tap into your own compassion by taking care of your mental body taking care of those thoughts and those patterns that are going through really check in and see what you can do to allow yourself to align with who you truly are and another thing that really kind of goes along with Lakshmi is this sensuality allowing ourselves to fully experience life sensually and you know what whatever that means for you allow that to be so but know that sensual we're allowing ourselves to use the senses okay allowing ourselves to be fully present to experience life itself and not tearing down this part of us that's more like feminine that's more sensual and allows ourselves to like actually you know touch our bodies or to actually eat slowly like we don't do that right it's just kind of conditioned into us that you know we gotta eat and we gotta do this like there's always something to do one thing after another and when we don't have that sometimes for some of us it can feel really strange and we can get really anxious because we feel unproductive because we don't have like a go 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 type of schedule or type of day you know but within those times that you do have to yourself allow yourself to tap into what that feels like to live more sensually what does that feel like because the more that we can tap into that we more the more we tap into our own pleasure okay and pleasure is play pleasure is joy pleasure is bliss in itself so allow that energy allow that part of you to come up allow yourself to explore that part of you that can be a child again you know allow yourself to enjoy some leisure time if you can so tapping into that as well as you know tapping into your own magic and your own rituals and routines in that way so overall all of these little like tips and you know <laughs> this little guidance that we have here is really just a way to help us begin healing our relationship with manifestation and just being able to manifest that which we truly are and that which we truly deserve in our lives so really take stock of what is going on especially in may and see how you can even now just allow yourself to prepare yourself for what you can be doing for yourself to manifest this beautiful life that is already ahead of you but you know you can bring it in a lot sooner than you think <laughs> if you allow yourself to tap into your own magic and into your own pleasure in life on a more energetic level we are definitely allowing ourselves to release 
attachment. We're working a lot on detachment, actually. So noticing where you may be attaching or feeling more codependent towards certain things, situations, and people, and see how you can lovingly detach. And detachment's like not a bad thing. It's really good because it allows us to give things space. It allows us to let source kind of, you know, flow. It allows ourselves to flow without feeling like we have to, you know, react a certain way when someone says something. Like we're not, we're less triggered and it's a lot healthier of a relationship that we have with things, situations, and people when we allow ourselves to love through detachment. This is going to resonate with some of you, not all. All of us have our own different ways of loving, but overall, take this as you will in any part of your life. Just really noticing where, hey, like celebrate where you have been experiencing that detachment in a loving way and see where maybe you are still holding on and know that it is all okay by tapping into your own compassion and seeing what you can do to shift from that more codependent or that attached state to something that's more, you know, compassionate and loving and detached and less um, controlled right when we attach to things we're trying to control in a way because we're scared of losing something normally that's the case there's fear and there's control around that and those frequencies those you know vibrations um, those feelings are really just not allowing source to flow freely in that area so we allow source or unconditional love to flow freely when we allow ourselves to feel whole within ourselves so a big deep self-love month every month is a big deep self-love month but the more that you can deeply love yourself the easier it is for us to actually carry out these rituals and routines and experience the sensual magic and pleasure in our lives. And the other note for our energetics is really protection. Noticing if you are neglecting or fearing in any realm around protection. So this was just a word that came up and it was really just like energetic hygiene. And I know I've talked about this a lot, but it continues to arise. So obviously it's <laughs> meant to be said and reminded on a regular basis, but overall allowing ourselves to see how we can begin utilizing and strengthening our energy for good, you know, allowing ourselves to release cords and not let, you know, if we start feeling a certain way, actually asking those questions to ourselves and our energy to see what is actually going on instead of just allowing everything to control us, you know, we're taking back our power, right? We are divine beings and we're letting ourselves be stronger in that way where we know who we are and we know the the works of our energy how our energy actually works and you can definitely look up a multitude of ways to protect yourself there's so many different ways because there's so many different backgrounds um, of spirituality that actually have specific practices so if you feel like you're someone that needs a specific practice for a specific you know experience that you're going through where you do need that energetic support definitely look it up i also have a video on for empaths and protection that also has a little light language transmission with it but overall just allowing yourself to feel whole within yourself and that all comes back to that self-love that all comes back to that knowing that you are free and you can't be controlled by anything without your consent so if you're allowing fear to drive you and you're having negative thoughts like there's your focus right there there's where you can begin shifting that and seeing how you can shift those negative thoughts to the more positive how you can begin speaking with this fear and letting it know that like hey let's work around this right <laughs> i have a better plan all right we don't need to be scared of this so and this protection doesn't you know it doesn't mean that anything's coming at you it just means that the energies are really high 
high right now and they're fluctuating a lot and a lot of people are going through a lot of things so you don't want to be holding on to um someone else's baggage right if you're more of an empathic person and all of us are pretty empathic <laughs> we just don't really know it some more than others but we do feel these energies and it can affect us in different ways and some of us are really lucky we're not you know able to <laughs> really allow those energies to attach to us in that way and it's not a bad thing when that happens either so this is just really a chance for us to double check and see how we can imagine ourselves just as this pure white light or even just this golden light around us this shield you know just finding a way for you to just feel secure in your energy to actually check in with your energy and what is going on for you so that is all of the messages that I have for May, it was very informational. <laughs> And I hope you received what was meant for you. And let me know how you're feeling in the comments down below. I really, really would like to know like how April's going, if you agree with this or resonate with these energies and this advice that I'm sharing with you guys, please let me know. I'd love to just have a conversation and see what's going on because the more that I talk with people, the more of a link and a connection that I see of what is happening. So May is going to be a wonderful, you know, we're gonna get a little bit of an up level energetically so allow yourself to use that energy wisely by taking care of yourself more and pouring it into every aspect of who you are and allowing yourself to feel strong and protected in that way okay so really you know we're always just working on taking our power back and remembering who we are because the more that we can do that the more that we can connect with nature and the stars you know with who we are the closer that we are to these beautiful lives that we desire just just i get <laughs> you guys know like when you have a vision and a dream and you can just um close your eyes you can even just do it right now and just imagine like you feeling whole and free without fear oh my gosh unconditional love just waves and floods of love coming through you it's it's wonderful and you just can't stop smiling. <laughs> so we are really shifting into that place. So allow yourself to take the time that you need to do what you need to do and let it be, let yourself be a priority, honestly. Let yourself be a priority. We are blooming here. The big word is blossoming and blooming. Allow yourself to bloom, feed yourself, water yourself, hydrate yourself, okay, you guys? <laughs> Let yourself go through the phases that you need to go through, all right? It's perfectly perfect for you. You are exactly where you are meant to be in this moment right now. <laughs> so make sure you guys like the video. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. It truly, truly supports me. And I honestly really love doing these energy readings. So if you do do the journal prompts, let me know. I wanna see um, who really takes them or even just the affirmation. Let me know in the comments down below. You can see them in the description box below if you'd like to really just dive into this energy even more and and see how you can begin creating that little game plan for May, right? <laughs> all right, you guys, I am giving you so much love and all the hugs in the world. Have a magical, magical May. I will see you guys in another video. Sending you so much love. Goodbye.